Under the social learning lens, we see theories based on the importance of social influences and interactions when learning to read. Gloria Lanston Billings is one theorist we find wearing this lens. Gloria Lanston Billings is a current professor at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. She is an active researcher, speaker, and theorist. She is most known for her work in the critical race theory and looking at culturally relevant pedagogy. From the social learning lens, many different theories have evolved. Critical literacy theory is one theory cited in Lens on Reading. This theory looks at how literacy and education shapes people's lives and how they can use this to reshape society. Stemming from this theory, we see the critical race theory evolve. Lanston Billing shared the trailer for the film Babies in one of her many presentations. This film shows four different babies in their first year in many different walks of life. Lanston Billings reflects on the trailer, summarizing that all children, no matter color, creed, or economic status, come into the world to learn and figure out how to interact with the environment and other people around them. In her work, we see how social interactions have shaped what this looks like for many different children in education. Lens on Reading states critical race theory is a theory that has been seen in many different fields, such as law, sociology, and history. However, Lanston Billings is credited for bringing the educational community's attention to the critical race theory. This theory is characterized by four tenets. First, daily reality of racism. Second, it legitimates and promotes the voice of color. Third, critiques liberalism. And lastly, looks at the effectiveness of the civil rights. Looking deeper into the first and second tenet, we see the idea of white privilege and promotion of the voice of color. One simply moves about society with advantages and disadvantages due to the color of their skin. When I think of the first tenet, I automatically think of a story told to me during a presentation at Temple University. The man presenting was an African American man that earned his doctorate and was an author that examined race studies. He shared a story about going to the beach with his wife. As they were walking around one of the many typical souvenir shops, he began to be followed by one of the sales associates. This sales associate never asked if he needed help or assistance, but continued to follow him around. He was simply waiting for his wife. This story links back to the simple idea that when looking at race, socioeconomics, gender, and the many other social classifications we see, Disadvantages occur just at simple first sight, something many do not experience simply due to the color of their skin. Lanston Billings addresses this in education in her article, Is the Team All Right? In this article, she gives some statistics. In 2000, 88% of the teachers nationwide were white. However, we see the diversity in our schools rising and changing. The teaching population does not reflect the student population. This put into perspective the idea of the daily reality of racism. Why isn't the teaching field more diverse? In this article, she brings up the idea of creating a more diverse teaching force and more diverse teacher educators to ensure all students, no matter what race, experience a more accurate picture of society. This idea ties into the second tenet of the critical race theory. Are students getting a clear picture of how their race and culture has experienced history, society, and daily life? Is their story being told? Is their picture being viewed? We have seen this often when thinking about the textbooks and books we include in our classrooms and our curriculum. Are they showing a diverse picture and story that allows all views to be seen and experienced when learning? Thinking about job opportunities and what children see is so important. We now have books of an African-American president, lawyers, scientists, judges, doctors, and so many other influential people of color. This is so important for children to experience. They are not limited to what they may see in their society or on TV. Role models are so important, and in 2018, these role models are not just athletes and musicians for many children of color. The third and fourth tenet focus on the bigger society and government. This idea examines the idea of liberalism. 
Is change able to occur in society if major social structural changes do not occur? This is evident in the construction of the Common Core Standards, Standardized Test, and Curriculum. Despite stating equality, we still live in a society that we see culturally biased tests and curriculums. Lanston Billing states, the one argument that really surfaces is that the dismal K-12 academic performance of students of color effectively cuts them off from post-secondary education opportunities. With biased assessments and curriculum, students are unable to reach higher levels of education. This is one idea that limits diversity in the teaching field. This critique on liberalism links into Tenet 4 and civil rights. Civil rights opened up the door to many opportunities for people of color, but it is the white people that truly benefited from this. Affirmative action is an example of this. Research shows white women have benefited more from affirmative action than any other race. Again, we look at how this is reflected in education. We see the statistics shared before regarding the population of white teachers. Society is forever changing. The critical race theory exemplifies this idea. Despite many examples specific to race, this theory is relevant to all groups in society. Gender, socioeconomics, cultural backgrounds, religion, and sexual orientation. This is our society and the world children will need to navigate. Does education and the educational environment reflect this in our classrooms and our schools? Critical race theory brings to light how society has altered this ultimate goal of how one interacts with their environment. One goal, but this looks very different for each child. Lanston Billings is also credited in keying the term cultural relevant pedagogy. In her many works, it is evident how critical race theory has guided her in her research and idea of culturally relevant pedagogy. Thinking about culturally relevant teaching, we need to think back to critical race theory. Are students provided equal opportunities no matter the color of their skin? Are students getting a clear picture of their story? Are curriculums and standards reflecting the society and educational environment we see in our classrooms? The ultimate goal in education is to shape young minds to be successful and productive humans in society. One must do this by presenting a true picture of what society is. This can be done through the use of culturally relevant books, experiences, projects, and by diversifying the teaching field, teacher educators, and reflecting on the bigger idea of society and social changes. Here is a link to share your own thoughts. In two sentences or less, share how Gloria Lanston Billings' belief on literacy and education is reflected in your teaching. Flipgrid is an awesome formative assessment tool to be used in your own classrooms.